Would you die for me? Yes. Yeah, I live for these moments with you. I'm all yours. The Joker and Harley Quinn are unpredictable. <laughs> they are the king and queen of Gotham City. Talk about a romance gone wrong. Come on, Puddin! Do it! You don't know whether Harley's gonna, like, laugh, hug you, or, like, shoot you in the face. Stupid bats! You're ruining date night! And then Joker's, like, even worse than that. I think that the Joker is probably better known than the devil. Some might say that the Joker is the most famous bad guy in the DC universe. The trick was to be incredibly respectful of the legacy of the Joker and not tamper with that, yet at the same time reinvent the Joker. And Jared pulled that high wire act off. So in Suicide Squad, part of the story is this really epic romance between Joker and Harley. In the comics, there's been a lot of different versions where it's a little bit antagonistic, it's not a healthy relationship often, and this is like Harley and the Joker, like Bonnie and Clyde in the DC Universe. It's a fascinating love story because is it love love, is it love hate? There's a lot of ways to argue what that relationship is and what that relationship means. That relationship is so interesting. It's just so filled with turmoil and it's one of those relationships where they're so attached to each other and it's so dark that they can't get enough of each other. No matter how far we delve, how many scenes we do, I just feel like I've only scratched the surface of Harley. Like, it's just a character that's like a bottomless pit of, like, issues. <laughs> I could play Harley for like 10 years and be happy. I think the Joker will live forever. I think that he's in some ways the perfect villain. He has stood the test of time and there will always be a Joker. You may not think so, but he's there waiting to chew your bloody face off. Desire becomes surrender. Surrender becomes power. You want this? I do. Oh, God, you're so good. Ah, 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 you dirty pervert. Oh, my God. You people, what are you looking at? Shut up! The Harley Joker stuff was so unpredictable. Like, when you're acting with Joker, like, I didn't see any Jared, not for a second. It was it was Joker, and he's, he's nuts. But whatever the result was, it, it meant that we got these great, great moments on screen. I was lucky in that I had a pretty phenomenal partner in this. I was really lucky to work with her. Incredibly kind, incredibly patient, which you have to be with the Joker in the room. The Joker stuff, Jared and I didn't really do any rehearsals off screen. I have a rehearsal, I have a rehearsal. <laughs> it's really scary. And it was perfect. It was like pure entertainment for the crew. There we go, and action! It's the very first time in a movie that I've ever been on where on day two of shooting on production, it was just Jared and Margo shooting that day. And the entire crew, you, you just kind of look around and their jaws are on the floor because they're watching something so special and so unique. The squad stuff, we had done so much rehearsal and, and, and we needed to because it bonded us in a way that none of us ever expected would happen, obviously. <laughs> if I could see my actual reflection, yes. it would have... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right there. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you can't. <laughs> I used to fly first class. The crocodiles would be in the back. 